Hi you guys, it's Dara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video and in the name of Christmas spirit, I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys all the different gifts that I got my friends here in France. The reason this is also organized is because I have two separate secret Santas going. I have one with my basketball team, which is all my French friends, and then I have one with my international friends. And on top of that, I also have the gifts that I got from my French boyfriend. And that honestly feels so weird and kind of exciting to say out loud. <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but I really think I did very well with these Secret Santa gifts. You guys let me know in the comments. But yes, let's get into the first gift. So the first set of gifts I have is from my friend Alexandre, and he is someone that I met on the basketball team that I'm a part of. And we've been friends for about one year now, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the thing is when you're on a sports team with people, your lives just become so intertwined because you're practicing multiple times a week and you're playing in games multiple times a week. And the fact that you're playing a team sport together kind of builds this camaraderie and fraternity, sorority, and you just end up getting really close with your teammates. And the friendships I have with this group of people, Alexandre included, have just really become very deep because we went from practicing and playing basketball games to sometimes hanging out on the weekends and sometimes going for dinner and then celebrating our birthdays together. And it just kind of got to this point where we started seeing each other like, three times a week. So I'd consider Alexandre a very good friend and I really hope he enjoys my gift. Also, I will mention that the budget for the Secret Santa was 20 euros. So the first thing I got him, which I think is hilarious, is this advent calendar. And first of all, you're like, Ariel, why are you getting him an advent calendar? It's almost Christmas. And that's because like on the 30th of November, Alexandre sends a photo in the group chat of an advent calendar that he's already eaten, like one to 24 eaten in one day. And we're all like, what? You couldn't even wait till December 1st. What is this? So yeah, the boy likes advent calendars. The boy likes chocolate. So I got him this gift and you'll see at the bottom it's open because I actually took out the tray of chocolates and I replaced days one to five with garbage. <laughs> so we have day one over here, which I replaced with an orange peel. Um, we have day two where I put an empty lint chocolate wrapper. Day three is a wine cork. Uh, day four is an empty scrunched up Nespresso castle. And day five is this crusty old piece of bread. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny when he opens his gift, he's gonna dive into the chocolates of course, and he's gonna open up the first few days and be like, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, that was gift number one. The second gift I got him is La Servante Écarlate which is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, a very iconic book, one of my favorites. As soon as I got my secret Santa name, this was the first gift I got him for two reasons. One, I knew he wanted a book for Christmas, and two, him and I very often have debates and discussions on feminism, and I just think that it would be really interesting for him to read this book because it kind of aligns with my narrative and my opinions on feminism and the way women are portrayed in the world and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I really hope he enjoys it. The third gift that I got Alexandre is this little winter scarf. It's really just a basic, a basic gray men's scarf. This was the last gift that I got him and I figured this one out when we all went to a rugby game a couple weeks ago. This boy shows up to an outdoor stadium to watch a two hour long rugby game doesn't bring a hat, doesn't bring a scarf, and doesn't bring gloves. And I'm like, I'm sitting there borderline freezing, like with my hat, my scarf, my glove, my wool jacket. And oh my goodness, I look over and his hands are blue and his face is all red. And I was like, please take my hat, take my hat. Like I have a scarf, it's fine. And I even scolded him. I was like, Alex, why are you not wearing a scarf right now? You are going to catch a deathly illness. And he was like, I don't own one. Immediately, the light bulb in my head was like, you need to buy him this for Secret Santa, girl. <laughs> Stat. <laughs> so yeah, whether or not he likes that gift, he definitely needs it. Now, the fourth and final part to his gift is kind of basic, but very cute in my opinion. I got him this beautiful wool sweater from the United Colors of Benton. It's very warm, very good material. And yeah, I got him this sweater for a couple reasons. Number one being that I personally love comfy warm sweaters in the winter. So that's always the first gift I wanna get people. And as well, because I see Alex literally three times a week minimum, 
Um, I know his whole wardrobe almost. I know all of the sweaters he wears. So I think it'll be cool to be able to add to that collection. So yeah, that is it for Alex. And you're probably like, Ariel, how did all of that only equal 20 euros? And the reason I bring this up is because I wanna share the greatest secret Santa hack in my opinion, which is the app Vinted. So all of this stuff, except for the advent calendar is secondhand and much cheaper than would be buying it brand new in a store. I don't know. I think that when you have such a small budget for secret Santa, like 20 euros really isn't that much you would definitely struggle to get something brand new in Paris for that price. So to me, it just made sense to buy as much as I could secondhand off of Vinted, and that way I could just give him a bigger gift, a more exciting gift for a less expensive cost. But yeah, Vinted, definitely check it out. Big, big fan. Also, while we're kind of on this note of basketball team, I thought I would show you what I got my coaches. I think in France, it's definitely not normal, I guess you could say, or expected to buy your coaches or your colleagues gifts at Christmas. I think that's just a lot more integrated in the North American culture, but I thought it was really important to get something small for the basketball coaches to show them how much I care and appreciate what they do for the team, um, especially because they're volunteers. So I ended up getting them these two Ferrero Rocher towers, and I think they'll be very happily surprised. So I'm really excited to give them these and to wish them a happy holidays. Now I also have two other sets of gifts to show you like I mentioned, but I bought the majority of these gifts on Vinted as well and they haven't arrived yet. So those I'll have to film on another night when they arrive, but these gifts I had to film tonight because the Secret Santa is actually tomorrow. So they all need to be wrapped up tonight, but I will be back when I have the rest of the gifts with me. We're back. Nikki and my boyfriend's gifts have all arrived right on time for Christmas. Let's get into it. We'll start with Nikki's first. So like I mentioned, Nikki is the name that I drew for the Secret Santa with my international friends. And we did it through Elfster, which allowed us all to create little wish lists. And my wish list was pretty general, like eco-friendly products or handmade, artisanal. But Nikki's wish list was like so precise. She had an exact idea of what she wanted to receive. So I didn't take too many creative liberties with her gifts, but... I did at least maybe choose a different shape or color than she had listed. So hopefully she'll still like the gifts. The first item that I got Nikki are these burgundy leather gloves. Now she didn't say specifically that she wanted leather gloves. What she said she wanted were gloves that had that like touch screen capability. So on the thumb and on the index finger, she will be able to touch her phone using these gloves. And I wanted to get her leather gloves because I think they're just more durable. I think they're more stylish. And these gloves I really like because they don't just go to your wrist, they go a little bit past. And they have this really cute button detail, like right past the wrist here. And the reason I chose burgundy is because she has a really beautiful black coat. So I thought the burgundy would be a really beautiful contrast with her darker complexion and the black coat. Now the second and final gift that I got Nikki um, because our budget for the secret end was 40 euros, so each gift was about 20. Um, I got her this velvet jewelry travel case in this really beautiful pale blue. I think it's just such a stunning color. I'll show you guys the inside. So yeah, you have a space for your rings, for earrings, for necklaces up here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really love this guy. I think that it's quite pricey for what it is. It's not bad quality necessarily, but I do think that for this little item, 20 euros is a bit pricey. And I got this model because this is more along the lines of what she asked for on her wish list. But I ended up going to Maison Jumon to see if I could find something maybe a little bit better. And I found two other options. I found her this jewelry case which is a nice pink velvet. It's a lot heavier, a lot sturdier. You can just tell that it's better quality. The downside to this is that there's no zipper. It's a little bit bigger, so it's not exactly the travel case that she wanted, but it's an option. And then the final case that I found her, which is my favorite, is this one. It is a black velvet jewelry case with the sort of gold detailing. Um, this nice little animal jungle print. And what's really cool about this one is that it has a lock. So there's a key on the inside so she can lock it. Um, and it's a lot more spacious. There's a mirror. 
Again, it's sturdier, it's heavier. You have a little insert for earrings. You can, you know, take out certain things and store bigger, bulkier items, like maybe watches below. But yeah. Again, this one is much larger in comparison to the travel case. Like clearly there's no zipper, although there is the lock. I don't know, if it were up to me, I would pick this one, but I do understand that this one is more versatile. You can throw this in a carry-on, you can throw this in a purse, which you clearly can't do with this one. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this one and give it to her, but I'm gonna show her the other two options and she'll be able to pick which one of the three she wants. This one, as well as this one, were a little bit pricier. They were 30 euros instead of 20, but I had a 10 euro coupon, so I was like, it's fine, it meets the budget. So yeah, we'll see which one she ends up picking. Let me know down below which one you guys prefer. Maybe I'll change my mind and wrap that one instead of the blue one. So that's it for Nikki. Moving on to my boyfriend, Mon Amour. I have three gifts for him that I purchased all off of Vinted. And the reason that I went with Vinted is because we tried to stay around a budget of 60 to 70 euros and the items that I wanted to get him full price would have costed way more probably four times that price So he knows me. He knows I'm pretty eco-friendly. He knows that I prefer to buy secondhand So I think he'll be okay with the fact that his gifts came from vinted But yeah, let's see there's one that I'm really excited for I'll save that for the very end and the other two are kind of just nice little add-ons But yeah enough talking. Let me show you the first gift. I got him is this sweater it is new with tags and it's from the brand Springfield. I don't know. I don't know much about that. Uh, I really love the color. It is a mix of dark blue, a lighter blue, and a white band in the middle. I really love this style of sweatshirt on men. I like that neck zip. I just like the way that kind of color looks. Pretty similar to Alex, I love cozy sweaters in the winter, so it's one of my favorite gifts to give. So yeah, it's not necessarily the most personal gift, but you can never go wrong with a cozy sweater, I think. The second gift that I got him that I am currently undecided on, I saw a picture of it and I really, really loved it. And when it arrived, I think I was less sure on my choice. But again, it's not like the plat de résistance of my gift. This is kind of just a little something that I got him because I like the way it looks and I think it would look really good on him. Um, but basically it is this navy blue wool coat with sort of that aviator wool band around the neck. It's from the brand La Redoute. I think it's hard to see in this light, but it has these really nice chocolate brown buttons down the front and the little slit pockets on the side. I think it is just like a nice classy coat. He doesn't really have a wool winter coat. He has more sports style jackets, so I thought it could be a nice addition to his winter wardrobe. The reason why I'm kind of doubting this gift is for two reasons. I think the navy blue is just so dark. I think in the picture it came off as a little bit lighter and I'm just not sure how that'll look on him. We'll see. But also I bought this jacket and it was listed as very good condition and I even asked her before I purchased it. But the, the neck piece, like this neck fluff, is a little bit more used than perfect condition. So we're gonna see if I can depill the areas that need to be depilled and to maybe scrub it with baking soda to get a little bit more white. But yeah, that is the wool winter coat in all of its glory. We'll see what he thinks. Now the third and final gift that I got my boyfriend that I'm the most confident on, that I'm the most excited about, is this secret wallet. This one I'm extra proud of because these retail for about 70 euros and I was able to find it brand new on Vinted with the tags in the box, all of that for 35 euros. So kudos to me. Um, but yeah, these are really, really nice, small, compact leather wallets that are made in Holland. They are RFID protected. And so they open like this. On the inside, you have these two little pockets for cards and money. You also have this for this little thingy here for bills. But the coolest part about this wallet is the card holder right here. I have some cards to show you guys how it works. <laughs> but yeah, you basically take up to five cards. 
you slide them into the top. And so this is your wallet with all your cards. And there's this little button on the bottom that you just whoop, and everything pops up. <laughs> and it's all good. You take a card out, you push it down. Voila, it's honestly the easiest, coolest, most compact wallet. I got this same wallet in pink for my mom a couple years ago and she absolutely loves it. So I'm sure that he'll find it very useful. Now I didn't just get him this wallet because I thought I liked it. Um, my boyfriend currently has a wallet. Like it's a nice wallet, but it's branded with the name of the company that he works for. And he's thinking of changing jobs in the new year. So I'm like, new job, new wallet that's not branded. I think it could be a mini thoughtful way of celebrating that transition for him. But yeah, that's it. That's it for my boyfriend, for Nikki and for Alex. Of course, I'm gonna wrap them up and throw lots of little chocolates and their favorite treats and candies in there as well. Write cute little cards. But I think I did a good job. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas for me. I haven't given them these gifts yet, but I'm open to changing. I'm open to adding things. That's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a really good holiday season as well. And I will see you in my next video.